Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at a balanced first stage diaphragm reg and how it works. As always with these videos, the point is to simplify them as much as possible. So it's not designed for people who are already technicians or have a working knowledge of equipment. This is for the people who don't have a clue at all how they work to try and give you a base of familiarity, which you can then expand upon. Okay, so without further ado, let's get ready and we'll get started on this one. Okay, so before we start, we'll just quickly run down what it is we're looking at. Um, this right here is a representation, so just a depiction of a first stage. The thick black lines, these are structural parts, so they're static, they don't move. This is the, the structure of the first stage. Um, so these are the external walls, and then we have a separation of the two chambers here. High pressure chamber, intermediate pressure chamber. The green dots basically just represent gas pressure. So we see we have a higher pressure gas in this chamber than in this chamber because high pressure chamber, intermediate pressure chamber. We have the bias spring right here, which is the, the kind of the, the red swirly line. And this is a spring that helps aid the diaphragm to flex. On top of that, this is the diaphragm right there. So this kind of blue arc is the diaphragm and then attached to the top of that diaphragm is a poppet assembly, which is what creates the seal at this orifice right here. So this is the opening between the two chambers, which is sealed. Now, how does this all work? First, we need the diver to inhale. So to the second stage, so this chamber, you see the intermediate gas that's in this chamber is being demanded. Okay, so the diver inhales, which means they demand that gas, which means this gas now will be taken out of there and go to the diver. So as this gas is being taken from that chamber by the diver, that is then going to cause the pressure in here to drop because the gas is being taken away. So as the pressure drops, this diaphragm right here will start to flex up which is aided by the bias spring and the hydrostatic pressure. So they aid that diaphragm in flexing up. When the diaphragm flexes up, it in turn will push that poppet assembly up, which means that this orifice here will no longer be sealed. There'll be a slight crack in that, which means this high pressure gas will start to leak into this intermediate pressure chamber. As the pressure in this chamber is now starting to build up again, it's going to flex that diaphragm back down. As the diaphragm flexes down, it will bring that poppet assembly back down and thus seal off this orifice. And now we have more gas in this chamber ready for the diver to inhale again. So as the diver takes their next breath, they breathe in this gas causes the pressure to drop, which means this diaphragm will flex up, aided by the bias spring and hydrostatic pressure. They help flex that up. It'll push the poppet assembly up, create an opening at this point. This gas will leak into this chamber and push that diaphragm back down and reseal it. And this process just keeps repeating and keeps repeating as long as the diver is inhaling and exhaling. That is basically how first stage functions. <laughs> 